if you want to learn how to create time and trigger in Azure functions, this video is for you. Hey everyone, I am Aftab and this is a continuation from the previous video where I showed you how we created Azure functions step by step and we created HTTP trigger in the previous video and in this video I'm going to be creating the timer trigger and show you how we can set up the trigger on schedule. So without further ado, as you can see, uh, now Azure has changed the layout or the UI a little bit. We don't, we no longer see the uh, create function option under the functions uh, section. Uh, we see that here in the uh, in the functions tab right here. So I can uh, click on create in Azure portal. I can always, I can also do that in the VS Code or other environments. But now that I'm already here in Azure portal, I'm going to click on create Azure portal or create in Azure portal. And I can, uh, we saw how HTTP trigger is created in the previous video. If you have not already, please click on the link as shown on the screen. So let me go ahead and click on the timer trigger because this is what this video is all about. So I'm going to click on timer trigger. And as you can see the description, it says a function that will run on a specified schedule with that timer trigger selected i'm going to click on create and as you can see it says creating function and the, the the function was created successfully and it's called timer trigger one i haven't given it a custom name just yet okay as you can see the timer trigger has been created now i'm going to click on the integrations option and as you can see, it doesn't have any input just yet. I'm going to click on the trigger because uh, it says timer. So I'm going to click on that one. And as you can see, this is running on a particular schedule. And this uses the cron uh, schedule or the cron expression rather. Okay, the first value indicates the second, then minute, followed by the hour, day, month, and then the day of the week. And by looking at this, Coron expression it tells me that this is going to execute every five minutes so i'll leave that as i'll leave it as is or maybe let's say but in every two minutes for example um because i'm going to run it just once just to show you how this has been executed so i'm going to uh, set that to that and click on save and it is saving the changes that i'm making and it has updated my uh, timer trigger and all I will have to do is if I click on code plus test, basically it will just show me the code that is running behind this timer trigger and it will just display in the log the time that it has executed. So I'll switch it to the file system logs. All right, as you can see, it has executed in about two minutes time as per the schedule that we have set up. It will continue doing it for every two minutes. So I'll just go back to the integration and uh, change it back to whatever I want. If I want, I can always change the schedule to whatever I want. So there you have it. So that's how we create the timer trigger that runs on its own. And we have seen how we can configure the schedule using the cron expression. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please let me know in your comments down below. If you haven't already, give me a thumbs up. That will let me know that you're enjoying this video and will motivate me to create more videos. I'll see you in the next video.